All right, and here we go, guys. The final battle is going to be taking place, I guess, with the White Witch. Now, I know that you guys are probably going to be asking me as Prox, how the heck did you reach all the way over here to where the White Witch is going to be happening? Because, like, did we actually have to go and do some other things before we go and take care of the White Witch? Now, to be precise, you are true on that. Um, now, again, that other half of this ivory tower is basically the same type of part that we have just been through since the very beginning so instead what i decided to do is push that all off to the side we don't have to go and really worry about any more annoying familiars jumping at us we don't have to really worry about those annoying pesky robots also showing up out of their cages to go and do their battles against with us so instead we are finally here at the final part of the ivory tower to go and face off with the white witch herself now the white witch does have three different forms that if you want to be aware of and if you have never wanted to play through nino kuni since i haven't really went and uh played through nino kuni i'm trying to learn all this myself as well too while we're going through here um but she does have three forms. she does have her humanoid form which that is of course happening right here and then we also do have uh, her somewhat anamorphic form which kind of almost looks like a pokemon that similarly kind of seems like almost like solgaleo from pokemon sun and moon <laughs> which that kind of feels really weird for that and then because uh, maybe that's how pokemon got their inspiration from it because i know that this game in particular came out around uh um, what was it like 2011 i think so and then Sun and Moon came out around like what 2016 so maybe Pokemon has some sort of inspiration between what was going on here within this game uh from how uh, they wanted to imagine how Solgaleo was going to be like but anyways then we also do have the third form which that is going to be all about is known as the Zodiac form which I believe that is basically some sort of being that actually happens within the mask that that uh for what uh for what the White Witch is actually wearing but we'll be learning more more backstory, I guess, a little bit between within Castiopeia because uh, now, um, unfortunately, the one thing that I completely uh, messed up on is the last part of the battle uh, within the final form is that even though that I did pull through pretty well throughout here, uh, I almost got myself with the dub, but we came across just a little bit too short and we left ourselves a little bit empty handed because uh, during the time uh, I ran out of items uh, just at like the last few different hits, which I am super angry about. Now, I don't know if I may probably do maybe one more episode beforehand. I just have to go and see if I can uh, pick up with some extra items as well. Um, because I think still during the time of the Ivory Tower, I don't know if we are completely locked on out of here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go and buy some of those special espressos, which I did not actually realize that there is somebody over at the uh, Hamlin area over around in the Swiss Solutions that you can actually go and speak to somebody and actually pay out 2000 gold for espressos that actually have 150 magic points, which I never even realized. And I've been buying out on 70 magic points over at Perdaya, and I'm actually kind of upset about that because I want to have more MP than rather just have the uh, the 70 MP that's there. So I think there may be a potential next episode. I don't know if you guys don't see one, and if I go and jump into uh, Pokemon Nova Hoenn, or if I go into um, another uh, another special series that I kind of want to do for a reboot now for a little while, and that's uh, Pokemon XG, or I should say Pokemon Next Gen, the uh, the Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, more i think uh, a little bit of a harder type of game uh that we're gonna have to go and head back into i know that we've went and done this nuzlocke before but i wouldn't mind doing another one but we'll have to see which one i'm going to be doing from there now uh, i do have to say though is that we're going to be putting that astra spell to a lot of good use now for this uh for this time now mind you we got that astra spell during the last episode by horus if you guys remember because when we went and faced off with gallus uh we were able to go and return back to aria memory and do the last little final bit of horus to get to see him in his more adult form of himself compared to his kid form and uh, he gave us some rewards. Now, I believe uh, he also does have a reward for us that we can actually be able to go and build up with our ultimate weapons. I should have went and probably did that as well, too, which uh, I'm kind of upset about that because then I could have went and probably at least got a little bit extra more damage off and had uh, some nice good spells around there. Um, now, during the, uh, during the battles that we are going to be seeing, I do actually go and steal a very special item that you can actually go and pick up from the actual White Witch herself, 
and uh, Sway was really lucky to go and pick it up. And it's too bad that if I didn't get the win that I wanted to, we would have been able to have the divine outfit that would have been, or, or the divine cloak that would have been very nice to actually have for one of my familiars to have a little bit later on if we're going to go through the uh, post game, uh, the post game legendary guardians and other things that are going to be showing up afterwards. Because, uh, mind you, all those guardians that we went and faced from before, and then also with the other different bosses that we have faced, uh, they are also going to be having their different forms later, which that kind of sucks that, unfortunately, I wasn't able to ever go and see them. But if I go and do another attempt to see how well I can work around it, we'll probably see what happens there. Now, just make sure that you keep on uh, using the all-out defense or all-out attack that actually happens here, because... Uh, now, the unfortunate thing is, is that right now within her first form is that physical damage doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot. You can go and try and do any type of attacking that you can, but it's not going to get enough damage as it should be. So, uh, the best idea for me is, is just go all out, use my summons as I can, and just completely tear, tear down the first form. Now, I believe physical damage is something that you can go and do after when, it tur when she turns into her uh, Solgaleo Pokemon form. Because then we can actually be able to go and at least do some bit of physical attacks. It's just that right now, I think during the time that's happening here, physical damage doesn't really do anything. Now, she does have some really uh, annoying type of moves here. She does have Fallen Star. I believe that is a move that can uh, become a very big AoE effect and do a lot of damage right there. And she also has another move known as Star Bolt, a uh, homing attack move, which unfortunately during the time that I was trying to heal up, I get instantly destroyed right from the get-go. But at least the good thing is, is that we have a lot of, uh, well, trying to unconscious ourselves or, or, or try to bring ourselves, I guess, reviving our, well, yeah, that's the better word. Not, not getting ourselves unconscious, but trying to revive our consciousness. That's what we're trying to do and bring back with Oliver there. So not to worry. Yeah. Cause like most of my items that I did have, I, I, cause like I kept them pretty well. Uh, throughout like the first like two phases just that like the third phase I had to like run out of so many items because of just how annoying that when we go and run into the third phase We'll be seeing one annoying move that uh, that the zodiac uh, boss is gonna have Now we're gonna set up for Astra here and that should at least be able to do quite a bit of damage That's gonna at least do like somewhere around the uh, 550 damage right there So pretty insane and uh, let's see what else we could go ahead and do. Well, we could probably go and use one of our great sage bottles. Yeah, because that could actually revive all the way, well, for our MP, all the way back up to uh, full strength out here. Uh, yeah, and even when I was... Now, also doing a quick change could also help you out big time as well, too. Because if you ever want to go and uh, dodge out a move beforehand, uh, doing those quick changes between each other is pretty nice. So here comes it with another Astra. Pretty handy that we have this here. And uh, yeah, so now she has this move known as Night Stage. She basically like protects herself as some sort of veal here. Now, uh, this first phase, I never really did any type of editing at all whatsoever because uh, using the MP magic that I have for this Astra damage is doing a whole heck of a lot. So uh, we don't really need to be all that too worried or too cautious about how this first form is going to be all about. So here is the last hit and oh, well actually sorry not that uh, that well it's not basically uh, the last hit just yet Yeah, you know, we still have to do another extra 500 damage there. I thought that was gonna probably be the one that was gonna probably seal the deal Okay, but not to worry we do have one more Astra this should at least now be the one that's gonna probably at least work here And let's light it up and just like that we are good to go Hooray! Look at that. We got the first phase already down and out. Now, I do want to go and uh, also say is, is that within the third phase, you are going to get yourself with a little bit, uh, well, a little bit of some help uh, from, uh, well, from the White Witch herself. Well, in her more uh, regular character that we've been seeing uh, throughout the different flashbacks. And uh, she's going to be, uh, because like once she goes back to her normal regular uh, type of state, uh, she'll be able to go and actually revive your team. Uh, kind of like almost like in a way of like how Zelda kind of does like her thing like in Ocarina of Time. Because I think she like normally tries to heal you up or something. I think during the time where she tries to help you, I think like within like the Ganondorf battle from there. So, so she's basically almost like Zelda in a way. She likes to go and help you out like reviving up your team. 
even though that she doesn't really help you out with the MP though, which that'd be really something to be very handy for. But yeah, so here is the Solgaleo form. Just be very careful because this is her ruthless form. This is like her absolute scary type of form that is going on for right now uh, because she does have one move known as Annihilation. It is literally a hyper beam move that does insane amount of damage and it actually uh, shoots around almost the whole entire stage here. So you want to be very careful for when that happens. Um, she also does have a uh, harrowing horns a move that can actually be able to uh do quite a bit of damage if you're sitting out right in front of that but just make sure that you just go ahead and dodge it um now i had to go and use king for majority of this battle here because king was the one that actually has a lot more damage than compared to how my flora boris enemy is all about because i have no idea why that uh that that my snake can't even do a whole bunch of damage on it i literally added a whole bunch of things to it but like for some reason it's like king is much better than uh than uh than what oliver's familiar is all about uh so anyways uh we'll have to go and see what else is gonna happen here so yeah now we have to go and switch back into esther good idea to switch around because that's also another thing too is because like uh even if you go and uh, kind of switch between your characters unfortunately you're gonna have like uh well at least have some sort of problem with the other side but if you uh, use your other character you can at least dodge out of the way from that annihilation move but yeah so now we got ourselves with king there to go and kind of tackle it with the last bit of damage so come on man please knock out solgaleo i wish we had some help from lunala but unfortunately lunala is not in this game or even necrozma so that doesn't really work either yeah, so here goes that another uh, annihilation spell, and oh man, I don't know who get the last hit. I think that was probably Swain. I think, but yeah, like he went and took care of like majority of this battle though. But it seemed like Swain at least went got the last knockout hit there. Oh man, so there we go. So. Now that mask is going to kind of disappear into thin air, but it's not going to really be gone for too, too long. That's how, like, all the villains are in any type of game. They always want to, like, destroy the world and literally recreate a new one. When things go wrong, you have to try and make them right. And you have to keep on trying. Now, I just heard uh, some some interesting news about Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And, uh, like, I know that, like, the movie is, like, in, in the works at this point in time. But uh, they actually have, uh, well, I think there was, like, some different pictures of, like, how Shadow was, like, getting drawn out or sketched out. So it actually looks pretty cool. She's a part of you. So I can't wait till we go and uh, well, well, I, well, for me, I can't wait till I go and see uh, Sonic the Hedgehog three, and hopefully you guys are gonna be excited about that movie as well too, because apparently, from what I have been gathered, is is that this movie is supposed to be like very dark compared to the other two movies. So uh, to see something about with Sonic the Hedgehog, you know that there's gonna be a lot of like uh, very intense type of stuff. And not only that, but they are also supposed to be going in in the plot dialogue of how Sonic Adventure two is all about. Because they wanted to bring back Crush 40. And if you guys don't know who Crush 40 is or haven't been around since, uh, like, the... I want to say around, like, the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, that was also, uh, the songs that were happening from, from, uh, Song Adventure 2. They had, like, Escape the City and, uh, and Live and Learn. Which, that's, like, their main best two songs that they ever had. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, this is going to be the time where we're going to be, uh, not seeing any more pee. No. Thank you for everything, Oliver. Well, it was fun while it lasted, you know. But, with all that being said, Young P, well, yeah, so Young P went and headed back to, uh, to the original Queen Cassiopeia here. This must be the real or Cassiopeia. Pleased to make your acquaintance. She's finally back to her normal state. I am Queen Cassiopeia. As I was long ago. I will be forever in your debt. 
you have restored me to my true <laughs> now this is where you may probably be thinking to yourself right now is that like wow is the game actually really that over right now and nope thank you <laughs> no we got so we got more problems we got more trouble What's going on? we can't get out of this space dimension just yet This boss is absolutely infuriating. This boss is more annoying than how Shadar and the uh, and the anamorphic form of how uh, of how of how the White Witch is all about. Is this a declaration of independence? This is all my fault. Well, I wish we could. We could actually run from here. Then I could at least go and try to save my game. But I guess we can't. Because unfortunately, level 5 just likes to add a whole bunch of different phases every single time. Because <laughs> if you guys don't know, we went and played through Dark Cloud 2. And unfortunately, during the time of the Emperor Griffin battle, it's like once you go through that castle, there is no escaping from it. And not only that... But they don't give you any type of time to, like, at least go and heal yourself up. You have to go right into the actual final and ultimate boss form that, that shows up after. Because, like, once you go and complete off with Emperor Griffin, they have to put you in a five-gauntlet match as well during the time that you are in, like, a most, like, perilous state. And if you don't have any items with you, you're totally effed. Like, you are you are so messed up from, from that whole entire battle there. Like, I only went, I think, on my series of my Dark Cloud 2, I only lived through, like, only three battles throughout the gauntlet. I couldn't even, even last out that much. And I even had, like, some of my ultimate weapons, both for, uh, uh, both for Max and also for, uh, who else was, I keep on forgetting what the girl's name is in, in that game. But I had, but I had the ultimate weapon for Max, and I had, and I had the ultimate weapon for her as well, too. And I still got destroyed. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to start for Astra, and Astra is going to be your best friend throughout the majority of this fight as well, too. Uh, but unfortunately, again, I ran out of all my uh, all my cappuccinos, so uh, I couldn't really go and do too much. Even though that right now, you guys, uh, uh, well, right now, as you guys can go and see, we do have some cappuccinos. But also, too, a good thing is, is that uh, with this Zodiac boss, is that this boss is very, very, very easily getting into critical hit damage most of the times so uh so if you are lucky enough and and what well, some of your different characters if they can land out a critical really fast uh, it actually stuns um it actually stuns the zodiac pretty nicely there and of course unfortunately we have all these uh we are looking eyeballs trying to chase us around here known as satellites and uh, these guys are also really annoying as well too so if you could use the astro move it will actually blow all these guys all away now uh you only have like i want to say at least like maybe a good five minutes or so of like having these guys not be showing up all that much um but at some point after that five or ten minutes of uh, of these guys uh, being all disappeared and everything they will actually show back up again so just to cause more grief that actually shows up here so yeah, so now we are just seeing right now is that since Queen Cassiopeia uh, can't really go and, uh, well, I believe right now she can't actually get herself destroyed. Or, or, well, she doesn't really have like a life bar or anything. So basically what she's going to do is that she actually does her own attacks as well. And it helps you out throughout the battle, but she also does go and revive up your team. So if you do run out of revives or like Phoenix Feathers or anything, um, she will go and freely revive up your team. It's just that the MP is that is something that you kind of have to rely on your own self. But yeah, so there's that chaos move just decimating my whole entire team there. Absolutely frustrating. And then after a little bit of some time, I finally started to win on down this boss. And I am so close. I am so close to me getting this guy done. And unfortunately, this is during the time that I completely ran out of items. <laughs> yeah, and that's also another problem too is, is that... Uh, is that the Zodiac boss also does have like some sort of like uh, like annoying shock damage and also turns into like a puffer fish. So if you stand up too close to it, it's going to like start like sending out spikes and stuff everywhere. So, uh, that's so annoying, man. Oh, God. And not only that, but since like we're getting so close to the final part, this guy is just literally launching out with chaos moves every single time, man. And it's just annoying. 
Oh man, that's the waste the only one basically alive at this point. The ashes of resurrection. So I think uh she's gonna try and light up another uh another revive here, but Oh man. No! Oh my god, that was so close. Jeez. Oh man, there's only like two of those different like satellites left, but again, I don't really have enough Astro type of moves to go for. If I just had like maybe like I want to say three more other different cappuccinos with me and if I went and used up that like like a few more other different uh, Astro moves, I bet you we would have had this game already in the bag by at this point. But let's go and try it again. Uh, piercing gaze. Who's it going to be locking on to this time? Oh, they already got it with Esther. That's not good. And all that attack. And oh god, here comes the final chaos move that's going to destroy us. Oh yeah, there's no living through that. And there we go. And unfortunately, that is the end here, guys. See you in the next one. And peace.